top tonight, a follow-up to a passing that we noted last night. Tony Amos, the well-known conservationist and sea life expert out on Padre Island, died yesterday after a long battle with pancreatic cancer. And now many are asking who can or will replace him. Our Michael Gibson has more on this top story tonight. We're here at the Texas Sea Life Center. It's on Padre Island, and most of the animals that were over at the Ark Rehab in Port Aransas were brought over here to be cared for. But they're not only having to worry about the animals now, but also the passing of Tony Amos. That will be about that long. When it came to injured turtles, or perhaps a pelican in need of help, Tony Amos was always there. He was an oceanographer by trade, but an animal lover at heart. He put his knowledge and love of animals to work in the form of the Ark Rehab in Port Aransas. It was originally known as the Animal Rehabilitation Keep, but was recently changed to Amos Rehabilitation Keep in honor of Tony. Now, his death on Monday from pancreatic cancer did not come as a shock to those who knew him because he had talked about his prognosis and wanted to make sure that his work and the Ark would continue on without him. He and his wife and my husband and I were out together talking about what our future was going to be. And he said very clearly, I can hear it like it was yesterday. He said, the ark must go on. And then he turned to my husband and I and he said, and friends of the ark must go on. And that is the way it will be. And we said, yes, sir. So, and that's the way it's going to be. Alicia Walker was named by Amos to take over for him. She's been learning at his side for years and knows she now has huge shoes to fill. He said that he was proud of me and proud of his decision to choose me. Um, and he, he passed over some other great candidates and he chose me. And I just remember feeling like so overwhelmed with emotion hearing that from this person that I've always looked up to and has been a mentor to me. Walker and others plan on honoring their friend the best way they know how by continuing his work of saving marine animals and keeping the ark going. That despite the facility being left in shambles by Hurricane Harvey, but the plans are to rebuild it even bigger and better than it was. That's something Tony Amos would want to see happen. From Port Aransas, Michael Gibson, 3 News.